In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft TrueType core fonts within Ubuntu Mate 18.04. If you've just recently installed Ubuntu Mate 18.04 and you open up like LibreOffice, uh, GIMP, uh, or Inkscape, or any of the other type of applications that uses fonts, you probably notice that you're missing uh, a lot of the fonts that you're used to using in Microsoft. Uh, well, many years ago, Microsoft released uh, some of the fonts on the internet uh, for other applications to use, and today I'm going to show you how to install them within your Ubuntu Mate. Now, on my website, I do have a link. I will have provide a link if you're watching this on YouTube so that you can read it, this information. I'm not going to read all the fonts that was within the package of the Microsoft TrueType core fonts, but as you can see here, and, and you can click on that and read them. Some of the common ones, or at least the common ones that I used, were the Times New Roman, uh, the Courier New, Arial, and the Verdun. All right, to install them, you need to open up your terminal. So I'm opening up my Mate terminal, and it's just simply a copy and paste. Uh, I'm going to copy the sudo app get install the TTF, which is the true type fonts, uh, MS Core fonts, which is the Microsoft Core fonts installer. I'm going to paste this into my terminal. When I press the enter key or the return key, it's going to ask for my password. This gives me the administrative rights to install them. I press the enter key and it's going through the process of installing the true type fonts. Now, it will take a few moments, but I will let it uh, run uh, the complete cycle because it won't take that long. Now it's unpacking. When it gets to this uh, package configuration, it will ask you for the end user license agreement, referred to the OOLA. You press the tab key on your keyboard and it will highlight the OK button. You can press the enter key or the space bar to advance. Now, once you're on this screen, please don't press the enter key or the space bar key, or it will look like it's installing the true type fonts, but it won't install them because you're not accepting the, uh, the EULA license terms. To accept the EULA license term, press the left arrow on your keyboard. By pressing the left arrow on your keyboard, it highlights yes. Now you can press the enter or the space bar on your keyboard. Now it's going through and unpacking the TrueType uh, fonts installer, and it's going through and downloading each of the fonts that's listed on the at the top of my page, and it's installing them on your system. Uh, so if you look here while it's installing them, it's just going through the process to where we had stuck that command, we pressed enter, then we put our password, and we pressed enter. And uh, when we're finished, and as you can see here, we are finished all done no errors all the fonts all the fonts were downloaded and were installed it set it up and there's the the version now what we want to do is we want to update our font cache so that way that the fonts that loaded up when the system loaded will load it will refresh itself with the new fonts that we just installed so i'm going to copy that command i'm going to paste it into my terminal press the enter key and it's just going through and it's refreshing my fonts list or the cache. Uh, now it looks like it's hung here. It's not and I'm not going to press anything. It's just blinking and then it kind of pauses for a moment and eventually it will uh, continue uh, until it goes back to the original prompt that we started with. Like I said it's updating your uh, your font cache. So we'll wait a few moments and then when we finish with that as you can see we entered this command. We type enter and all we have to do now when it gets back to the prompt is to close our terminal. Now it's finished. When it's finished it will show you that it succeeded and now you can just type exit. This will close your terminal and now you're ready to test the fonts. Now I should have shown you what the fonts look like. I, I typed up this little document on another computer which included the Microsoft uh, TrueType fonts. That's how I created this web page. Now I will minimize uh, this web browser and I will open up my Kaha file manager I will go into my documents and here's where I created a document on another computer that I've installed the fonts already when I open my LibreOffice we'll go through and I won't have to type anything I've already got them typed so this is my Times New Roman 
if you look it shows here and I got a size of 22 hopefully it's viewable on YouTube especially if you have a small screen like a a, a small tablet or a laptop if I click in this one you can see that it changed to the font of Arial. Arial. If I click this one you can see that it changed to the font of Courier New. This one is the Georgia and this one is the Verdana. Now I know if you go back to my website there's more fonts than what I've included there but as you remember when I started I said those were some of the most common ones that I used. This package will install all of those. Now what this will do is your Ubuntu Mate or the Ubuntu derivatives or the main operating system Ubuntu it will have fonts that are very similar to these true type fonts but if you ever open up a word document that was actually created with these Microsoft true type fonts you might not look identical the same some of the spacing could be off so when you install these true type fonts it will improve your compatibility with the word processors or spreadsheets and image editors or editors or any of the other software that uses fonts on your system if it was like created or used on a computer that had Microsoft and used like the office package it will increase the improve compatibility when you open it in Linux so as you can see here this should look like a document that if I were to type those out and choose those same fonts and same sizes it should look the same in Microsoft Word as it does here in LibreOffice Writer so in this video I know it didn't take all that long is showing you how to install the Microsoft TrueType core fonts in your Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivatives in this case I'm using Ubuntu Mate hopefully this has been a help for you and have a great day